Tonight, we've got a musical legend on the show. Luckily, we've got a very musical audience. So let's warm up. Off you go. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Welcome all this. Everyone got the Olympic tickets they wanted. Yeah. They did? Oh, I did as well, yes. On the first day of the Olympics, I've got a ticket to Miami. And, uh, <laughs> and on the last day, I've got one back. Brilliant. <laughs> and listen, what a lineup we've got for you tonight. My all time favourite musical superstar, Liza Minnelli. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, she is here. British actor and Hollywood star James McAvoy is here. I know, I know. And sour face funny man Jack D is here. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, James McAvoy, don't you know, he's about to appear in the new X Men film. Mmm. <sighs> I love all the X-Men characters, I do. The indestructible Wolverine, the Temptress Storm, oh, and the Essex Skank. Yes. <laughs> uh, sorry, my mistake. The BAFTA award-winning Essex <laughs> Skank. Uh, <laughs> I know. Mm. Uh, James, James played Idi Amin's doctor in The Last King of Scotland. Uh, ooh, I tell you, that, that is a big sparring, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> Idi Amin, do you think, has the world ever seen a more ruthless, power-crazed dictator? <laughs> <laughs> I know, really. <laughs> the next the World Cup, it go to Narnia! <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm thrilled, thrilled to welcome back the great Liza Minnelli. Over the years, Eliza appeared with all the greats, uh, Sinatra, Sammy Davis Jr., Lady Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> we all remember Eliza's iconic Oscar-winning performance in Cabaret, set in pre-war Berlin. Here she is. Oh, is that a, is that a Hitler moustache I can see? <laughs> uh, I have to say... I have to say... That is a very sexy look. Very sexy look. And uh, who wouldn't look sexy in a bowler hat? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Raunchy cabaret club is very popular entertainment in Germany. Yeah. In Britain, we get this. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? Is it Matt Lucas playing a Yamaha organ? What the hell is it? <laughs> and she's one of the good ones. <laughs> Have you been watching Britain's Run Out of Talent? Have you? <laughs> Have you? <laughs> Simon Cowell, uh, back for the semi-finals. Do you know, Cheryl Cole actually went to the studio to patch things up with him. She did. Oh, look, she looks very excited. Wonder what she looks like behind her back. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some yes on! He's a light ball, he's a lovely, he's Jack D! Hello, <laughs> 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 sir, take the top down. Welcome the one, the only, Liza Minnelli! I'm so thrilled to see you looking so well. Oh, I feel great, thank you. Because you had a... Was it a knee you had replaced? Oh, yes, I've had everything replaced. <laughs> <laughs> but the knee was tough. 
Yeah. That's harder than the hip. You know, the hip is a snap compared to the knee. But you get through it. But are you, like, are you in pain now? No. No. So you're good? I'm sitting down. <laughs> yeah. you, you set off alarms and things. Oh, honey, everything goes off at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> that is because of the drugs and the crack cocaine that we Oh, yes. <laughs> to share it. I was hoping you could fix me up. <laughs> but now... Are you a fan? You must be. Yeah, I'd say yes. so. Who How isn't? Not be exactly. Oh exactly. As much as I'm very excited to be here with Jack, I have to oh. say I'm excited more so to be here with Liza. Or you. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad to be here because my, my, uh, my sons went to see X-Men today. And uh, as they were leaving, they said, yeah, you're going to go to work, you, we're going to see X-Men. I said, yeah, but I'm going to work with James McAvoy tonight. So uh, that just spoiled their evening. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they're, they're probably not enjoying the film. Hey, but now, Liza Minnelli, you are unstoppable. Because, I mean, listen, things have... You know, you've had your knee, you've had the hips, you yeah. had the scare with the, the brain thing, oh, you've had yeah. uh, personal tragedies, all sorts. But nothing stops you. You're now back, you've got a new album mm -hmm. and a tour. Uh, I, in fact, I, I say you have a new album. I have your new album. Uh, you do, is, do Yes. Okay. Now, I apologise, I sat on it earlier and it's a bit broken. <laughs> uh, if, if you buy it, it doesn't come like this. Uh, you, you sat will... on Liza's face? Yes, I did. Oh, my God. <laughs> Tell from her expression. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Liza, I, I have to apologise, Liza. You come over to this country and you get treated like that. Graham, Graham yeah. sells these out of his garage. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what was. What's that about? Where did tell us where you recorded it? In bed. Yeah. Recording? Yeah. Wowza. What, you, you turned your bed into, like, a recording studio? Well, I had to lie there because I was having my knee replaced, right? So you have to stay off your knee for, like, three weeks before. And I th was going nuts. I thought, I, mean, I have uh, to be in bed, like, six weeks? That's horrifying to not move around. And I, so I thought, well, what can I do? So I called Billy Stritch. And I said, what do you want to do? He said, well, we could make an album just for us. And I said, yeah, that'd be fun. I mean, the last albums I've had have always been on stage. And I'm going, whoa! You know? So we made an intimate album, truly. Because you have kind of soirees in your house, don't you? Yeah, I, mean, I have friends come over on Sunday night and there's no pressure. You know, you just have something to eat and usually end up around the piano. And people can literally sing for the music, for themselves. Are your friends all singers too, or...? Because I've got to say, like, if you invited me over and you invited me to sing in your living room, I'd be mm. hugely intimidated to sing in front of you. Yeah. Well, then I wouldn't invite you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd invite you in a second. Because not everybody's a singer. Yeah, I mean, that's people what I do mean. different things. Yeah, but yeah. if you invite someone over and say, come over to my house, no pressure, that would make me suspicious straight away. <laughs> <laughs> you don't say that. Oh, you don't say that. Okay. People I know and, and people that... There's, there is no pressure. It does sound nice, the idea of just working from your bedroom, doesn't it? Mm. It's it's awesome. <laughs> well, no, not in that way, obviously. <laughs> just, you know, yeah, be nice. Uh, now, listen, uh, you're, you're going to be singing um, a song from the album later, and if people want to see you, very excited, again, with the not stopping, you're back on tour. Is it this month you start at the Royal Albert Hall? Yes. And then you do various dates in Britain, right. then around Europe, Yes. And then you end up in Vegas. Yes. <laughs> you looked undoubtful then. Do you yeah, well, <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> no, but... Now, this may go nowhere, but if I say 